serving is Uyata. Mendeville. Here's Jolly. That's stuck up again by Uyata. And the point for St. Mary's double hit call. Good call by Dixon Chun. Hartong really did not have good position there to put up the set. I like the way Uyato dug those last two balls, though Jolly just ripped that cut, you know, cutback shot. And uh, Uyato hung in there and popped them both up. Shaw serving. Dug up by Hartong ball. To Hawaii leading. Hartung serves. That's in. That's an ace just inside the back line. Or was that overruled? Vixen Chun made the call on the first flag attempt. The flag went up and it was. Crowd reacting to the replay. And that ball is ratted tatted around, finally goes into the back row. Nobody was there. So it is 10 to 3. I think that I think that St. Mary's was kind of thrown off kilter by the crowd. Reacting to the call. 10 serving three. Serving is Lele Pali. Chased down by Dodd. There is Mendeville. And Mendeville able to single handed across. Ashley Castle, number five, actually gets caught up in the net here, right there on the way up. Mendeville is very happy. Very happy to be on the court. She's waited quite a while for St. Mary. Serving this court doesn't get over. 11 to 4, Hawaii here in the fourth set. Maeda comes back on the court. She will serve. She comes in for Castle. Hawaii's passers are glad that Corp is done. Corp has served for more points tonight than any other player for St. Mary's. And she's also got two aces to lead them. Serving is Maeda. Pick up by Shaw. Dodd. Graven. Hits it into the block. Good block at that time, led by Reiniger. Solid block. All three blockers up. Very disciplined. Longo watches it hit the line. There's not many times that she will misjudge a play like that. She'll usually play those close ones. Popovich serving. Back up by Maeda. Back set. Adolfo, and they waited for her out there. Graven was there along with Jolly. So St. Mary starting to come back in this game a bit. They trail now by five. Serving again is Popovich. Line drives it over. Croson off the block. Croson just powered that shot. Hawaii leading 12-6. Shaw comes back. Along with Tinsley. Big toss by Croson. Dodd. Jolly good solo block by Hartung. Boy, Jolly had court in front of her. But up loomed Hartung. Two of the better players on the court here going eyeball to eyeball. And Hartong getting the last word. Grossen serving. That's long. 13-6. 13-7. As the point awarded to St. Mary's. Dallas Dodd will serve for the Gales. Maeda. Uyato. Adolfo. Adolfo able to get the ball wiggling by Jolly. Lucy Uyata going more and more back to the middle. Adolfo getting more action. Forrester getting more action. 14 7. Serving this long go. Back up by Graven. 
Raven into the court, but there is Maeda. That ball is hit by Croson, but it goes out. Croson's got to keep that ball in play. She wasn't ready. She didn't get approach. It wasn't where she wanted it. There was miscommunication, obviously. And uh, she just got to keep that ball in play, not try to make too much out of it. Mendeville comes back into the front row for St. Mary's. Serving will be Graven. Eight serving 14. Hartung, little push. Mendeville is there near the net. Ball is just pushed over that time by Tinsley. Goes to Hartung, blocked back Hartung with the save. Croson whistles. Back row attack. Hawaii, a mistake. And it is now nine serving 14. I don't think I would let, let uh, St. Mary's get any more momentum than maybe one more point. Here's Hawaii battling at the net, and right there is St. Mary's. And they say, no, not here, not now. Yeah, sure, he's got to use one of his two timeouts to slow this team down. And I guess he's going to wait for uh, his team to get organized on their own. Graven serving again. Back up by Maeda, Uyato, Hartong. Well, I guess we get people like Hartong on the outside like that, you get a perfect pass. We don't need a timeout. That was clinical. 15-10, <laughs> Hawaii leading here in the fourth. They lead in this match two sets to one. Uyato to serve. Gets it over, diving dig. There's Dodd, Mendeville. Ball saved by Uyato. Longo. Artung. Hit there by Tinsley. Tinsley. Tinsley's got a heavy arm. That ball was not set on the net, but she had a lot of down on that ball. A lot of top spin. Shaw to serve for St. Mary. Eleven serving 15. That ball comes right over. Big advantage now for St. Mary's. They go to Mendeville. That's a good save in the back row by Croson. And then Castle gets it across. Dodd to Tinsley. Tinsley puts it into the net. 16-11, Hawaii leading. And Hartung will go back to serve now for the Rainbow Wahine. Artang serves. The ball is dug up. Goes to Dodd and Tinsley. Just ricochets it off Longo. Another point for St. Mary's, and it is 12, serving 16. Tinsley is so versatile. Hits on the left, hits on the right, hits that little high two set in the middle. He does it all. Serving is Tinsley, chased down by Uyato. Croson off the block, off Tinsley. Getting the ball across is Mindable. Longo, Uyato, and there is Forster. St. Mary's just does not have an answer for Vorster right now. Vorster basically is unstoppable. 12 kills, no errors, hitting 750. And Vorster leaves the court. Adolfo comes in the middle. Mindable is yanked on the St. Mary's side. Corp comes in. 17-12, Hawaii leading. Lele Ali serving. Ball in the air by Shaw. Tinsley. There's Lele Pali. Uyato. And that time, Castle is blocked back. Castle's got to learn to hit a high ball there, not one that's low, right on the cable, easy to block. He's got to be able to hit the deep corner in the one area. Get some more kills. Corp serving. Knuckle balls it over. Castle Uyato. There's Hartung. That'll be returned. Dodd. That's uh, Hartung in the back row. Uyato. Here's Croson. Croson goes cross court and out. So now the lead by Hawaii, which was seven, which was controlling, now has disappeared to a three point advantage. Serving is Corp. Castle. 
Croson. Dug up by Shaw. They go to Graven. And Graven gets it down. And it's now 19 to 17. Rather, excuse me, 17 to 15.